maybe not tip, but how I did this. Taking a, a plain cabinet door like that, it's a shaker style, and putting glass into it like that. So follow me line on how to do this, but I didn't like most of them because it was kind of a hack, uh, at least the ones that I saw. Um, one of them says, let's drill some holes in here and then use a saber saw and cut this out. And it was not what I wanted to do. The easiest way that I could think of was to use a router. And there were a couple of videos on there that also used a router. So that's what I did. What you want to do is you want to have the glass be inside this frame. So this all has to go out and then let me turn this around. And so what we want to do is we want to actually router out about, um, let's say about three eighths of an inch or a half an inch on the outside of this. So take all the hardware off, the handle, the hinges, and don't forget to take the little rubber knobbies off. And then I took just some scrap that I had and I made a frame. This is actually two frames. So you have the bottom frame, which wraps around the door perfectly. And then you have the top frame, which gives you the inset that the router bounces off, of, so to speak. So let me show you. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this frame right here. I'm gonna take all the hardware off, and then I'm gonna set it inside of that frame right there. And it, there you go. The hardware's taken off, and it fits snugly into the frame. You gotta make sure it fits really nice, but of course not so tight that you can't take it out. Make sure that the gap here is the same all the way around. So when the router bumps up against this it'll cut the same amount all the way around. It'll be a really nice clean cut. And the other trick that you uh, have to make sure you pay attention to is you have to make sure you don't go any deeper than you need to, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna set the router bit to go into this panel right here. And I did it by trial and error, I went an initial set about an eighth of an inch down and from there I just kept going deeper and deeper and deeper you have to set it until you get through to the other side of this mating surface here it's a little hard to explain but I'll show you once I take this out so let's get to routing the routers already set to the depth that'll cut this right out and just leave a nice frame on the inside here I didn't mention what kind of bit I was using, so there you see, it's for straight edges. And this is, let me see here, right here, that's the depth. It's about, I would say, about half an inch or so. But again, you need to get that, you need to gauge that, not just by setting it and plunging it in, because you could go through too far. You gotta go short and then go deeper, deeper, deeper until you get just to the edge. And again, I'll show you where you need to stop once I route this out. I always wear a mask when doing this because it kicks up an awful lot of dust. By the way, on a side note, these are wireless backbeat 
headphones by Plantronics. I love them. I'll give you guys a review on them. Maybe I'll even provide a link to this review. All right, so this should lift right out. All that does. And this does too. So this gets discarded. Don't need it. Don't want it. Now, this is what I was trying to show you guys. Let me take a vacuum cleaner, clean this up. All right, so let me show you. This is what I was talking about. This is the lip right here. You've got to find that depth. If you go any further than this, you're gonna get into the lip and you're gonna, the, the glass isn't gonna have enough hold and you're gonna get all sorts of problems. This is perfect for this particular door. Your door might not be as, you might not have to go as deep, but whatever it takes, you've gotta go deep enough so that when the wood gets taken out, the panel comes out, okay? In this case, we are done. So all that's left to do is I went to Home Depot and I got some gray paint to match this paint right here. So I'm gonna sand this a little bit, not very much because the router did a really good job already. Then I'm gonna take some of that Valspar paint. I'm gonna paint it gray. It'll look just like that. The glass, ooh, too much dust. The glass should fit in there, so let's see. Um, this glass, by the way, is from Lowe's, and uh, it's about $7.95 a piece for a piece that's a little bit bigger than this because they, they cut this to size for me. Cutting is free. Pretty much in there. And... All right, like I said, it doesn't fit quite yet because the edges. So I'm gonna take 220 grit sandpaper. Be very careful when you do this, don't press too hard. Otherwise you're gonna go through and you're gonna cut the crap out of your fingers. It doesn't take very much to sand glass. It's already rounded off. Let's do the other one. So it's probably really hard to tell on the video, but this is a very sharp corner right here. So I put this four layers so it doesn't go through. lucky this will fit right in there now there you go so since the glass fits it's cut out nicely again I'm gonna sand the wood a little bit very not very much same same sandpaper 220 then I'm gonna take this paint I'm gonna just hit the inside here that dries very quickly probably within about half an hour then we're gonna lay the glass in and then we're gonna put a bead of clear silicone all the way around here. Try to get it as smooth as possible in one shot. Um, put the bead down as smooth as possible. And then I just run my finger, continuous motion all the way once around. And if you're, I've been doing this a long time, so it, it'll go pretty easy for me. But uh, let me tell you, when I first started, it was a mess. There you go. That's basically how you get from a door that has a regular panel in there to a door that has a glass panel in there.